Hi, welcome back to Look Closer. Today we are going to look at one of the most well-known mushrooms in the world. Even though you may not know its name, you definitely know what it looks like. It's the fly agaric Amanita muscaria. If you have a look in the background here, you'll see that we are nowhere near any natural bush. This is a pine plantation, and there's a very good reason we're here. That's because this is where Amanita likes to hang out. We're gonna have a quick wander through this plantation to see if we can see any of these really distinctive mushrooms. Well, that took all of about five minutes to find these guys. Here we have four fly agarics. One, two, three, four. You should be able to see all of those. All in different stages of maturity. You can see that the color differs, the size differs, and the state of decomposition as well. And the reason they were so easy to find is because they are all the way through this plantation. I'm gonna have a little walk, see if I can find some other nice ones to get photos of, and I'll show you those too. Okay, I've had a look through the plantation and this is the best example I can find. Beautiful strawberry red top with the white dots all over it, the bright white stem and creamy white gills underneath. So why is it that everybody recognizes this iconic mushroom? Well, it's because it's embedded in all of our popular culture, everywhere from Mario Brothers to Enid Blyton and Alice in Wonderland. They all feature this bright red mushroom with the white flecks on top, usually with a fairy or a gnome sitting on the top. But there is a problem with this mushroom because this is a Northern Hemisphere species. This here in Australia is a weed albeit a beautiful weed, but nevertheless a weed. This is an invasive species, and that is why you'll find it in pine plantations like this one, because it's associated with the pine trees, which is a Northern Hemisphere species. For the moment, it seems that Muscaria is limiting itself to pine plantations and introduced timbers, but there's always the possibility that it will start invading the bush as well, taking the place of our native fungus. And we really don't want that because we have such a wonderful diversity of fungus right on our doorsteps that belong here. So if you do come across this species in a pine forest, please leave it where it is. Don't pick it. Don't take it home. And when you leave, make sure you clean your boots nice and thoroughly before you go on to the next place so that you don't spread the fungal spores from this around. All right, that was our closer look at the fly agaric Amanita muscaria. See you next time.